Yes, sir. wider now and have since written to the Minister for National Security to constitute a comprehensive detailed far reaching investigation into this whole cartel of roads because preliminary information we've received suggests that there seems to be some importation of roads into our country for purposes of it one laundering the wood and exporting it out of our port. When that happens Sorry. it is Ghana that gets discredited and we're having to take steps to checkmate that. I uh, was told today that based on the provisions of CITES, the five countries in the West African the sub region who are allowed to trade in those goods are Ghana, Mali, Burkina Faso, Gambia, and Senegal. And we have strong suspicion that some of these goods, based on the preliminary investigations we conducted, are imported into our country for onward export. I'm very confident in the National Security Architecture, and I know that the National Security will unravel all of this so that we can limp this in the back. But I must say that I'm particularly uh, impressed with the work that has been done, and we are going to continue. We're going to go on. I want to assure the good people of this country that there is a ban on the, uh, the harvesting, 
the trading and the export of goods as well as the importation of goods. And we are going to enforce that ban strictly and do so forcefully. Thank you very much. How effective is this ban? Because the last few months we were hundred five for the cigarettes and now I mean for how effective is your ban? It, it seems or it appears to me that it's not really effective. Well as I say it's very very clearly on the contrary, there is a clear uh, indication based on the confiscation that the the, 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 the measures we put in place seem to be working. Because I mean the fact that you ban cocaine or you ban doesn't mean people will not attempt to smuggle cocaine. But it's only when you get these kinds of um, confiscation that should assure you that the measures you put in place are working. I mean, if it has slipped through, it won't be here. It is because the measures are working, and it is because officials of the state are enforcing the measures. That is why this confiscation is happening, and that is why I'm here. I leave it to the discretion of the National Security Minister. But essentially what I'm talking about actually has to do with the the, the uh, suspicion of importation and then the cartel. As we speak now, what is happening is we put this ban on the export of those goods. We put in place measures to deal with the harvesting, trading, and export of those goods. That is what has led us to these confiscations. But we are very convinced that there is a very sophisticated cartel syndicate involved in this trade. And we think that the national state can unravel them. That's what we've committed. We've um, requested a national security of this cartel. The, 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 the last, what is going to happen to that particular? See, like I said the last time, when it comes to these matters, our attitude at the ministry is that there are several segments to the matter. There is a segment of policy, there is a segment of directives, which is the mandate of the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources. There is a component of investigations, which continue to be the mandate of the investigative apparatus of our country. There is a segment of criminal conduct, which continues to be the mandate of the criminal investigation department of our country. And prosecution, which is the mandate of the attorney general. And when these matters arise, we follow through to make sure that all these flags or, or all these segments are covered. And the first one, the five, the first five proceedings which brought me to Chema Court, the processes are ongoing and the measures are being implemented. And all the